Cathedra C. Peluso, University of Colorado Boulder. Between crisis and care, projection mapping as creative climate advocacy. Abstract. A discreet critical crossroad of climate crisis environmental advocates behave have turned to projecting mapping also known as guerrilla projections digital graffiti etc to foster an ethic of care this article focuses on two 2015 projection mapping events one in the vatican city and one and other and the other in paris Although imperfect projection mapping may ori orient attention, transform locations into public space, public spaces for political engagement and cultivate collective imaginaries. B. By rethinking environmental media between climate crisis and care, we may define the agenda of this journal as not only centered on critique but also regenerative. Re regenerating creative communication for a just and vibrant future keywords projection mapping cri climate crisis climate justice care public space environmental advocacy introduction we face a climate emergency for env environmental advocates the question becomes which articulation on our link will garner enough attention to his to this uh, essential treat to move us to act with a sense of urgency what happens for example when we think global warming to a to a urban architectural icon in a major european city an international negotiation of world leaders a religion institution your hair braid your he hair beat a wildfire, a portrait of a lion, fish swimming in a coral reef, your phone. These questions are not random. They are drawn for two environmental media events that took place during the 2015 conference of the parties to the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change, COP, COP 2021 on focuses on St. Peter's Basilica in, S in Vatican City and another on the Eiffel Tower in Paris, France. Both assumed climate change as a global crisis but framed their events around fostering an ethical of care about our global interdependence and interconnection. Both also pivoted an, on projection mapping, a media technology that displays digitally re rendered designs onto non-flat physical surfaces using light projection. As such, these events not only involved environmental content but were, co were co constituted by urban environments. They also signaled an emerging sen sense that perhaps projecting mappings affordances might help move the world to act in response to the climate emergency that we face by creatively, creatively fostering our collective imagination. Imagination as Deepesh, Deepesh Chatrabarti 2012 argues involves taking seriously how the current conjecture of globalization and global warming leaves, uh, leave us with the challenge of having to think of human agency over multiple and incommensurable scales at once. Recognizing the significance of climate change, data acquires imagining life on Earth in a longer temporality, temporality that than we usually consider the role of humans at what might be characterized as a godlike scale. As such, this conjecture collapses natural and human history and compels us to rethink human agency amid global in in inequities. Chatrabarti, 2009. It is perhaps unsur unsurprising then that scholars and activists have begun calling to more creative responses to communicate the climate craze crisis beyond scientific reports and testimony. In the documentary film This Changed Everything, Lewis 2015, 
Climate justice journalist and activist Naomi Klein follows the dual thinking of the Chinese proverb about crisis and opportunity, asking, what if global warming is only a crisis? What if it's the best chance we're ever going to get up to build a better world? Similarly, Shadrabarty in 2016 writes, a crisis is indeed a time for renewed creativity. Given the climate, climate crisis demands for a global remaining, remanaging of life on Earth and how we fuel, fuel it, fuel, fuel it. I, in 2016, argue imagination is a performative survival te technique, something, something we must practice with high stakes. More recently, Maxwell Boykov also published in his inaugural issue embraces creative creativity creativity as applied imagination arguing that we need to enable a wider range of expression to each the bo the broadest audience to feel the need for climate action and in meaningful and hopeful ways while imagine, imagi, imagining our current era of climate change as a crisis has and continues to be significant, there more, there, therefore this argument reflects an investment, investment and creatively articulating a collective meaningful response or care to build a better world. The ethic of care long has been critical, although perhaps marginalized ethic, ethic or philosophic our philosophy and social movements, particularly for indigenous and feminist advocates, as the hypothesis goes in this context, the climate emergency that we face good that we face gods us to not only identify material arms and the emotional weight of climate change, but also the generate the regenerate a sense of duty to honor the people, places and non-human species with, with which we share our world. From this environmental communication perspective, through articulating crisis and care as a dynamic and inter interwined dialectic, climate advocacy ide ideally aspires to find a way to, ga to gra grapple more viable viable with our complex range of material, symbolic and emotional relationship with each other on the brothers ecosystems on which on which we are a part. This article considers these hopes that prefigure projection mapping as a persuasive media practice for create creative climate advocacy and some of the impacts of this choice. My assumption is that projection mapping like all environmental media and advocacy more broadly is emblematic of what Lawrence Grossberg calls impure politics involving the compromises which may be necessary for effective political opposition in the contemporary world. Grossberg's move resi resists re relegating social movements choices to a rigid binary that should gidling this, this diagnosed as a fundamental dilemma of social change. Quote, An opposition movement is cogged in a fundamental and inescapable dilemma in which in which standing outside the dominant realm of discourse leads to leads wants to be considered to imagine marginality and politic political irrelevance and working within conventional rules leads ones to be assimilated, identified with narrow and important form resources." End of quote. From a cultural studies perspective of, of impure politics, it is less useful to assume that an advocacy choice is the only or even the ideal tactic to resistance. Instead, the more complex Compelling questions become, given context in which to tactical choice is pure, how does advocacy change the world if and if and when it does? If it advocacy change the world if and when it does. 
To illustrate this mode of analysis, I first provide a brief story of the develop development of projection mapping, including its origins and, s and media effort affordance and rev revisiting the impure politics of uh, environmental media. Then, artic article profus, profo then, then the article focuses on the afor aforem aforementioned projection mapping events during COP, COP 2001 as a watershed moment for projection mapping as creative climate advocacy although imperfect or impure given its capacity to orient attention transform locations into public spaces for political engagement and foster collective imaginaries the possibilities and limitations of projection mapping reflects key tensions of environmental media advocacy today i argue that by rethinking environmental media between climate crisis and care we may define the agenda before us in this journal as not only reaching reacting against ecological and political injustices but also re regenerating creative communication for a more just and vibrant future projection mapping as environmental advocacy a brief history projection mapping also called video mapping live projection actions or projection bombing live visuals vi vigiling, vigiling, street projection guerrilla projection digital graffiti projection murals and projection murals and immersive environments special augmented reality by displaying images and or text on non-flat surfaces the carbon footprint and costs associated by, by appear relatively small depending on the scale of the event according to the online tutorial one needs a dc or iac power invert invert a digital projector a vga cable a car sharing or a renter you hold cargo van and and any laptop assume it to be owned this of course does not account for the broader carbon and waste impact of production and disposition of media technologies although all original stories are suspect media CEO Brett Jones attribute, attributes the beginnings of moving projection zone to non-flat, non-wide non surfaces to Disney in 69, although it did not become more accessible until the late 90s. Commercially projection mapping since has been used for a wide variety of events including concerts, gaming, gaming and ceremonies. The adversity industry has quickly adopted projections and the trend is predicted to grow rapidly a striking green commercial example was created by Xin Xiaoshu a Chinese company that sells air purifiers their 2015 ad adversity campaign called breed, air, breed again projected large images or of crying babies faces onto clouds of air pollution begins emitted from factories to raise awareness about the source of air pollution related health risks and presumably to sell more purifiers. The non-commercial environmental projection mapping emerged more slowly. The North American based environmental not government association A A in Geo Greenpeace might be might have been a first one in 1989 it project the following words in wild fun on british aircraft carried a part of its anti-nuclear proliferation campaign we have nuclear weapons on board making visible ecological risks that might otherwise be obscured such media innovation from greenpeace might not be surpri surprising as co-founder robert hunter advocates for linking imagination to media early on referring to a singular powerful image event constructor for mass media publicity as a mind bomb that explodes in people's minds the luca in 2005 starting in 2003 british born artist activist 
David, David Buckland also gaining international attention for creating a series called Ice Text, which projected phrases on glaciers to help publi publicize that w what exactly was melting in this era of global warming, such as discounting the future and sadness melts. They just the just seeds collective Nicholas Lampert used projection mappings simply to publicize an event on New York City UN building with images of pipeline displayed at the base of and above the world's People's Climate March. Notable international environmental non government non government government non-governmental organizations have used projection mapping increasingly since COP21. For example, on 21 November 16, the US-born NGO Sierra Club and 350.org founded US artist Aaron Bell to project protest project protest tests onto the US Environmental Pro Preserve Protection Agency APA headquarter building in, in response to an appointment to the ex exec executive transition team including don't let a climate denier take over the EP APA project people nonprofits rebuild rebel against stable beyond the U United States on September s on 6 September 20 2018 in Quezon City, Philippines, Game Peace and, and, and 350.org mobilized a virtual marriage including images from more than 500 frontline communi communities most directly in pace impacted by climate disasters to amplify their voices. 350.org and 2000. 18. Meanwhile, the medium has also been mobili mobilized, mobilized, mobilized from for anti-government, anti-environmental, pro-fossil pro fuel ag agendas. For example, the Hayes Energy Hall at the Museum of Natural Science in Houston, Texas, created a 2,500 square foot projection map called Energy City, as the director of Exists notes. In an age where kids are growing up with unlam unlimited access to information and entertainment, our ability to create asta astonish to create astonish ast astonishingly breathtaking and immersive experiences like Energy City is critical. In response, Texas Environmental Justice Advocacy Services has critiqued the museum propaganda, including providing toxic hours to highlight the environmental health, health impacts of the fossil fuels in Houston on African American and Latin Latin youth. Projection mapping's emerging popularity is related to its media if affordance, including flexibility, interactivity, and potential to transform locations. To elaborate, it is flexible. Insofar, insofar as images and text may be displayed on any non-flat surface, inside or outside the rural or urban state-owned or privately owned buildings on trees and so forth, further artists may create displays that are monochromatic and colorful or, or colorful, involving still or moving images with or with with or without text and so forth. Projected mapping has as noted earlier is also co constituted by its chosen locations. Consider that might be afforded by 3D surface chosen and the surrounding environment. The novelty of environment on the novelty of environmental media to transform unexpected or new locations into attractions aims to orient bodies and attention in an era of content flood and technological distractions. Limitations of the medium appears to be included, not displaying outdoors during daily daylight, requiring skilled artists and often needed furthers. 
The rubric of projection mapping also potentially includes a wider range of practices beyond the scope of this article, including onto a box of a send to enable users in interactions with maps. In addition to flexibility, projection mappings may afford polyvocal in interna interactivity if, if designers choose it enables improvisational interactions between the design the audience creatively transforming the, fami the familiar into unfamiliar attractions in the hopes of forest fostering insights, inspirations and further environmental of or political engagement. An early adoption of this interactivity was the 2005 TX2ALL holding project of US digital act activist Artist, artist, artist Paul Nonzold, who traveled to college campuses in ten, cent, in 10 cities in four states in 2008 as campaign staff for the U.S. presidential candidate Senator Bar Barack Obama. Nonzold project questions on on college towns, town walls, and invite, invited text responses to a specific mobile phone phone number, which then appeared, appeared in real time as speech bubbles in the projections. Text messages finishes the phrase, I am voting because, with statements from the series, it proves the USA isn't a theory to the humors because his feet don't, don't sink. Authors personal correspondence with Nosok in 95 February. More, recent, more recently, in 2019, US born artist Tommy Cotill designed an event in which fish were projected onto buildings, inviting participants to use iPads to direct the fish left or right and transforming the fish into plastic for forks to more humans interacted as a way to. Light, highlight plastic waste treats to ocean ecosystems in the Anthropocene caused by re repetitive human plastic consumption habits, celebrating the possibilities of in interactive digital story storytelling practices. Jason Farman writes: "We are agent in the way in the way in the ways a space taken of on." meaning true story and mobile media are offering transformative ways to tell a wider range of narratives. In an increasingly provided non-neoliberal era, projection mapping's potential for for in interactively interactivity efforts, the possibility of ephemer ephemerally reclaiming public spaces for public engagement to reach audiences who have non-self-selected environmental media. For example, re projection mapping offers one way to break out of an increasingly individualized media diet. According to projection media artivist, activist, artist, activist Robin Bell, projection mapping transforms space and it creates a kind of temporary venue to have these, conversa these conversations. You you may recall that at CPO 2001 embodied mass projects projects that's for Biden as a result of gov government responses to a recent terrorist attack in the city. In response, some climate justice advocates organized a power powerful display of thousands of shoes in the place in the place de la republic with stood in the for the absent bodies of pro protesters who were planning to gather for project before the the new restrictions these restrictions did not impact the planet projection map in every event however which speaks to how this media form blur many of our taking for granted boundaries including material and virtual private and public sanctioned sanctioned and often surprising. Globally then, it is perhaps not a coincidence that projection mapping has gained momentum as a mode of public engagement in an 
is not just when new media on mobile devices are hegemonic main main mainstays of mainstays of cosmopolitan global spaces but also when the possibility of to travel to a symbol and to be and to be heard was being treated treated by hated militarization authoritarianism authoritarianism privatization xenophobia sexism and racism since its, its prof proliferation video ma projection mapping has in ignited debate over who has the right to project images where and what constitute artistic critic beyond mainstream adversity and public relations one collect one collective the illuminator was arrested for unlawful postings of adverse advice adver advertisements on 9 september and 2016 in New York City, although the charges were largest disseminated, they had projected the text K O C O A C H Climate Chaos onto the Metropolitan Museum of Art, which was a critic to the Mets Plaza being, being named for its donor, as well known climate denial advocate David. H. Cox Siegel, in contrast, when the sub sublime projection mapping of a racing extension displayed legally sanctioned I images on the Empire State buildings in New York City the, new the year before, it caused over one million, creating some controversy over who is mapping artists, activists, corporations and or the state. Such controversies suggest the need for further discussion about the political efficacy of projection mapping before turning to a specific event that anchors, anchors this article. Then it is also worth asking, mapping for whom? While the climate emergency impacts all life on Earth, as noted previously, it does not do so ev even evenly. Among many, Robert Mueller has advocated for the UN to take seriously the environmental justice moment, uh, movement's critic. The question of who pays and who benefits from our environmental and industrial policies is central to this analysis of environmental racism. The framework has helped give rise to a climate justice critic that argues that those who are hit fears and worse have contributed the least to glo to the global greenhouse cases compared to uh, the national nations and, and multi multinational corporations of the industrial industrialized global north a pattern that cox and i in 2018 call the cruel irony of climate change this unjust system of oppression is exacerbated in uh, interne intersectional matrices of oppression as recognized by the valid princi principles of climate justice in 2002 which states the impacts of climate change are dispropor disproportionately felt by small island states, women, young, youth coastal peoples, local communities, indigenous peoples, fish folk, fisher folk, poor people and the elderly, elderly, elderly. Further, these cruel inequities arguably materialize at multiple stages. First, increases exposure of disadvantageous groups to climate hazards. Second, increases susceptibility to damage caused by climate hazards. And last, decreases ability to cope with and de recover from a damage islam and wilkins 2017 questioning climate injustice such as this has been and continues to be central to global climate negotiations who will pay for and who, who will pay for and who should benefit from climate change policies planning in response to, to systemic inequities, the environmental justice movement has emphasized 
public participation, insisting that we speak for ourselves. The movement has cri criticized governments and NGOs for excluding frontline communities from environmental s decision making. Similarly, the climate justice gov movement has emphasized the significance of frontline communi community participation. Considering these critics, we might ask of the events of COP 2001, who do the environmental media limit or make possible a wider number of voices to, to be heard and a greater possibility for a great, greater number of lives to survive to survive or to strive on this planet during an age, an age of climate calamities? Projection Mapping and CPO 21 Given this context, let us turn to two projection mappings after ev events at CPO, COP 21 through secondary account and artist statements. One heard, one tree and our common home. When I participate and I in and blogged about COP 21 as a delegate for the International Environmental Communication Association's Climate Negotiation Work Group Working Group. I did not attend either live projection mapping event in the pages that follow. I describe each including the intent of their designers and sponsors and their social media impact. Throughout I hope to underscore not only their limitations but also their frames of care. Imagine caring about climate negotiation and solutions. Although an obvious cliché, perhaps the most iconic image of COP21 was Green Eiffel Tower, see figure 1. Before the conference, the UN tweeted, Today, turn the Eiffel Tower in Paris into a virtual forest of for COP21 with one hard one tree. While Yahoo and other media platforms publicized the live show and digital record records remain the a the a the app therefore enabled publicity for the climate negotiations and promoted the frame of hope. To elaborate on thirty November twenty two thousand and fifteen at at six forty PM on the first day of the COP21 negotiations, images, images of green trees illuminated the Eiffel Tower and the Champs-Élysées, a, a timed process that was then repeat, repeated on four subsequent nights. The 3D virtual trees were abstract and fluid, made of glowing lines akin, akin to, lightning, to lightning on or electricity seen to the rhythm of human heartbeats heartbeats text in while in white font also appeared in French and English in lighting elements such as the sun and and water or messages of hope such as a hundred percent energy a hundred percent renewables a hundred percent possible a hundred percent together and dreamers Music accompanied, although it did not receive the attention of the vi visual elements. Notably, the, compo the composer was Philip Shepard, a well-known English artist who was who has produced music for the tour, the Tour de France, the Olympics, and more large international events. A better conceptual artist who lives in Paris, Na Nasiha Mantesoi, designed One Heart One Tree, an in an interactive free global citizen app once some once someone selected his or her or their donation level 10 euro 10 euros or a little over 
20 11 11 bucks per tree and download the app the app instructions invite user to place a finger on the phone's camera which senses the user's heartbeat which in then translated by an algorithm to create a unique pulse for each virtual tree to grow Mestawi explains how her design reflects the climate justice value of generation of regeneration for every tree that is visually virtually planted through our application a real tree is planted in global for the reforestation programs to help regenerate re regenerate the earth ecosystems the event has created in partnership with the UN the friendship the French national government and the city of Paris and the non-profit production company seeds of light of light seed of light a course hotels and additional corporate supports including Microsoft the the app's website undercores, underscores in French and English care not crisis protecting forests is essential to supporting a healthy environment trees are not are one of the solutions to fighting the greenhouse effects saving clean water and providing an habitat for wildlife trees are also a source of life and energy although linked to to trees in the same of the ape app and the app the website text does not emph emphasize in fact emphasize the symbol symbolism of the of the herd which often connotes care through life possible positive positive energy and love with others further while not all have a way to download the app the choice of a uh, herbeat emphasizes common commonality among the international audiences targeted by the campaign instead the site emphasizes how the herbeat enables a way for audience to connect and to have an impact one of the seven global communities hosting the projection mapping event in conjunction with the reforestation effort as was a green cross protect proje project in Cote d'Ivoire or the Ivory Coast in partnership with NGO Gaia since independence from French colonialism in the 60s the Ivory Coast has lost had lost uh, 90% of its forests largely due to clear cut cutting for the global chocolate industry this app funds locals varieties of trees and community members to plant them the location of the global south the location of the global south of a farmer French colony which with native trees a local labor seems to underscore the value of the climate justice framework identify in the aforementioned aforementioned Bali principles Mestawi Charis in an interview her hope Quote, my passion is to connect virtual and real, invisible and visible, nature and technology. The here bit of one person can give life to a tree and everyone can be a part of this. No matter where you are in the world, if we act together we can project, protect and even recreate life. To art, I want to give each each of us the power of to act and an inspire of our future end of quote nicholas holot an environmental uh, activist and climate advisor from french presidency remarked that you that you for that thank you for reminding us that in a forest we he we heard the tree that fell down but not the thousand of the the other trees that grow. When Secretary General of the UN Ban Ki Moon emphasized, emphasized that how what how was how was how, how what was happening in COP21 will impact the, fu the future at, at the one hair one hair one tree live event.
plants the, the seed today for a better tomorrow. Over 1.3 million people watched the project to mapping event online with 782,000 tweets and shares and, and shares and 44,000 engagement on social media. The event was also show, shown on 135 TV stations globally and resulted resulted in a in the plain, pla planting of almost 100,000 trees. Imagining a global connection was critical to inter interactive experience as a 13 years old from Idaho, USA, shared of shared off her experience quote I like the idea that different people from all over the world can have the same hopes and dreams for our, our planet and can create something together I got two trees and it was cool to see where they will be planted and I also felt connected to Paris all the way from Idaho Kate Powell the one her one her one tree app contain campaigns persist as do the as do the climate advocacy for of its sponsor the un the french and national government and paris remain committed to reduction reducing global greenhouse ga gases since 2015 launch the projection exhibit has traveled including to brazil and mauritius to enable the planting the planting for more tree of more trees the sponsors also successfully negotiate the paris agreement the most inspiring international climate agreement for to date notably the event deflected attention from disaster inequalities grief of other more neg negative themes of crisis in favor of promoting a more optimistic ethic of care. It also did not enable space for everyday people to criticize the Paris Agreement and as a comprom compromise measure that, measure that arguably was not radical enough. This framing followed messages of COP organi organizers to focus on imperfect solution rather than climate re really related problems this environmental media event reflects the impure politics of our times the Eiffel towers literally was co covered in the color greens to change its appearance for the sake of publicity it therefore it not hard it's not hard to perce perceive the event ha as a mere greenwashing that is appearing to promote green or environmental advocacy values and our addiction wi without actually pra practicing, practicing this and perhaps even causing environmental harm. In addition, the interactive, in interactive of the app, former format gami gamifies reforestation which tend to be perceived as popular and fun in the so in the short term although rich research is lacking on the lasting environmental impacts of app gamification and the carbon footprint of such gamification individual individualizing economy response to structural challenges have also long also, uh, also long being criticized. Nevertheless, trees were planted around the world that might not have been uh, otherwise. Further, the transformation of this urban icon into a message from the hosts of COP21 was ambitious and arguably a successful way to orient wider aud audience for the for the otherwise mundane 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 negotiation of COP21. They provided a focal point to stimulate positive associations and global imaginaries beyond the relatively blender conference room rooms, the tiled policy negotiation and more, I more abstract ideas of climate change. While many hopes that COP will come to a more radical conclusion, the sponsors certainly did not appear to be the ones holding 
the world the world back on the projection map projection mapping even enabled them to signify the value of COP 21 to the world imagine ca caring about life on earth meanwhile on the evening of 8 September two, 2015 a coalition of institutions featured photography project on St. Peter's Basilica in Vatican City titled Fiat Lux <coughs> let the let there let there be light illuminate illuminating our common home the the Bound Foundation the team of Fiat Lux aimed to inspire audiences to feel reverent rever reverence reverence uh, for an identification with not human species and human communities across the planet through imagining through imagining a common home a common home with the permission of Pope Francis to whom to whom it was gifted by humanitarians and environmental artists the event was the event was curated by Travis Trekel Trekel is a US born co-founder of Obscure Korea Digital on Featured Projection Mapper in Racing Extinction, an innovative documentary by U.S. filmmaker and former National Geographic photographer Louis Fiojos, also known for directing The Cove in 2009. The film was published by and, f by and featured projection mapping from a Tesla, arranged by Trekel. Based in Boulder, Colorado, USA, a short video of the launch is available on online, which features projection mapping on the local mountain range. Brumbaud and Cell 2015. The film, the film itself, also features trackle displaying endangered endanger species projection maps throughout New York City, including the world, the world's acidifying the oceans. Moving across the new ticker of the Stock Exchange and the David H. Koch Theater on Lincoln Street, the success of these endeavors led to Trekel's role as a leading projection mapper internationally. In the, Vac in the Vatican City, the live Fiat Lux event opened with an acknowledgement of the, Vat the Catholic Jubilee, Jubilee Hymn. Misericord si to pater, be, mer merci be merciful as your father is. This was a l this was followed by a series of ima images. This was followed by a series of images that included sublime work from globally recognized and internationally diverse environmental photographers, such as Sebastian Salgado, Joel Sartore, and Chris Jordan, the Bound Foundation. Vivid projections featured a diverse range of stunning humans and non-humans portraits from around the world and scenes varying from the stars in the skies to the deepest of the oceans, although reminders of the treats that we face. Vivid projections features a diverse range of stunning human and non human portraits from around the world and scenes varying, varying, varying from the stars in the skies to the depths of the oceans. Although reminders of the, the treats that we face were included, images predominantly showcases the world beauty and fragile things of hope. At times, projections fill the entire building's facade, including the upper dome, and at other times, only part of the surface was illuminated. Trickle appro appropriately described it, described it as a visual symphony with 
various movements and overtures. The nearly long, the nearly hour-long show was a repeated three times that e that evening, shared on the Vatican television channel and streamed online. It's, it remains available through new media platforms noted in publicity for the events and website in English and Italian, affirmed the Paris negotiation and described ways in which individuals can take personal actions. Associated hashtag invited an, articula an articulation of commutual com identification and publicity. Hashtag our common climate. Our common family, our common goal, our common environment, our common future, our common home. A highlight video reflects the inter intergenerational faces appearing to show a we and a wonder. In addition to people feeling the nearby piazza in live stream and highlight videos reaches, 7.2 million new views across multiple va venues, venues with a potential audience reach of more than 4.4 billion, including including 998 articles published in seven languages across six continents, and over two and over four, 14 thousand Twitter mentions. Overall the event created an opportunity for thousands of bodies to assemble publicity and on screens for AFAR. Having featured and publishes, publicized the documentary film Racing Extension with projection mapping early earlier in that ye in the year to raise conservation awareness through a successful Hashtag projection change campaign filmmaker Louis Piscioyos advocates a strong link between images and imaginaries. My my either career is built on this notion that we can show people something they haven't seen before in a way that they they've never visualized. It. Images make mm, images that make that make it impossible for people to forget. For Tenkel, the projection's location also matter. Once you break, once you break out the re the rectilinear formal format, the observer is more open to getting a message. Whether or not this is proven, novelty novelty prefigured Tenkel's hopes. This critical time in history is when we must reach people in creati creative ways to illuminate what is happening to our, to our common home. Another, another composer, Kashin, reiterates the optimism. I, it is our hope that this, proje this project will ins inspire reflection, re Rekindling our quest for spiritual and scientific wisdom, renewing our hope and sti steadfastness. It is only through love that humanity can prevail. Jim Jong, Jim Jong, Jim Jong Kim, the president of the World Bank Group, su supported our common home as part of the Connect for Climate initi initiative. In the press rela release, for the, unders the underscored hopes of climate justice. Quote, we are honored by the by the working with Vatican to raise awareness of an issue so critical to our shared goal of ending extreme poverty. The poorest people in the world are this proportionately affect by the effects of warming climate and are most vulnerable to natural disas disasters and extreme we weather weather this impressive initiative will draw global attention to the urgency of tackling climate change for the sake of people and our planet end of quote while climate justice was not climate justice was not 
necessarily marked as an explicit message in the show itself, Kim's statement under underscores how all climate action arguably is climate is climate justice action. Our common home continued continued to circulate beyond that that one night. Its extension has involved an inclusive co cohort of artists and advocates that have produced multiple f multiple films, books and events related to climate actions with multimodal social media campaigns linked to each. The live platform feed, feed off the events now remains online. Our common home the website celebrates the Paris Agreement and initially suggested personal actions linked to default is also includes sharing on audio clip on the last tweet on the on the now extinct Kuwaya O recorded by Cornell Lab of Ornithology with the subtitle A Call That Will Forget Forever Go Unanswered Unanswered the Pope's climate actions have also carried on before and after the Paris Accord. The remains a leader invests in using social media to address poverty and climate change. Furthermore, while some Catholics criticize the Pope for not evangelizing Catholicism, the event was consistent with the Pope's climate advocacy, with which was increased international media attention about climate change and they inspired the climate mobilization through, through moral appeals. Despite these profound commit commitments, our common home also reflects in pure polit politics. It was not an in interactive design in inviting vernacular engagement in any short terms, concrete sense, it was no it was co sponsored by the World Bank, which has a more controversial history in relation to climate change, let alone climate justice. It also involved corporate sponsorship by global elites, including the Hong Kong based Lika Shing Foundation and Microsoft co founder Paul G. Allen's Vulcans AC. As such, our common home seemed to her to herald projection mapping as a mainstream mode of environmental media in concern with leading environmental photography and documentary filmmaking, unlike them, constrain constrained in message and tone by sources of founding and presumed out audience. This does not preclude its capacity to to foster an ethic of care. It just reminds us that the political impacts are far from guaranteed. Our future. Today two significant dilemmas of environmental media are how to orient attention in the content in the content flood and how to mobilize individuals and act for the public good in a hyper individual individualized commercial commercialized mediascape. The previously una unamigable una scale of, of our climate catastrophe is only compounds the odds of success. Despite these barriers, climate advocates need to orient attention and to transform locations to foster collective imaginaries about the precarity of and the value of caring about species, places and elements across time space. In this sense, projection mapping is pro promising. It enables landlocked land -locked residents to witness marine life, urban dweller dwellers to consider the majesty of forests, and people who have not yet had to reach for their kind their keen after a flood or a mega fire to take into account the people who are who are on the front lines of climate chaos. The capacity of these radical juxtapositions to articulate previously unimaginated unimagined links linkage 
promises the possibility of critically interrupting a everyday life in the hopes of fostering an effective and or ethical sense of interconnection and interdependence and ideally inspiring greater environment in their their directing climate chaos by design one heart and one tree and our common home were were bound to become newsworthy both media campaigns involved prominent european buildings during the timely cop21 negotiations invited audience to to shrink their sense of geographic distance between themselves and climate action emphasized the mega the magnitude of the transnational scales of climate action identify novels novel play novel places and themes to protect and aim it to inspire emotional responses through gout visual story storytelling for international multi multilingual audiences concentrated visual with minimal text enabled a wider range of people to identify with with and to interpret to interpret the events these are these are common tropes yet the lack of critical attention to protection to projection mapping to to date is confi confounding Perhaps environmental media critical critics remains uncomfortable with impure politics. That is, that is, it might feel challenging to some to find enthusiasm for well endowed and powerful institutions such as Microsoft, the Li Keqing Foundation, the Vatican, and the World Bank. Even though authorship and intent along long long have been dismissed and determining a cross of impact yet little critical attention has been paid to guerrilla projection mapping even when it radically challenges rigid notion of public private pr spaces perhaps our redux our re reluctance then is finding a way to talk about the role of Afro aforementioned elements not typically imagined as media such as cityscapes, icecapes, landscapes and pollutionscapes something we can learn from public art scholars and art story historians certainly some media scholars have been asking us to, rem to reimagine previous distinctions between nature and media or perhaps we find we find it it more challenging to write about the ethics of care than for example the articulation of crisis cynicism might feel more comfortable for most critics hopeful hopefully future rich research in this journal will involve more interviews with the creative climate communication producers artisan organizations and audience repeating an audience reception and analysis of the interplay of human and non-human elements in environmental media more detailed analysis of projection mapping aesthetics reception circulation and impact is also warranted par particularly situated in the broader climate advocacy ecosystems in action in addition we we may also do too well not only to dwell in the major spectacles of bright lights in big cities but to remember that climate justice is a long often underfounded campaign requiring that we also study the mundane the mundane moments and the possibilities of co-production with frontline communi communities Relatedly, more cross-cultural research of projection mapping is warranted, particularly in the Global South, if we aim to descend colo colonial ten tendencies, even in, even in our own research to address climate injustices. This move should, be, will, this move 
should welcome research that not only engages bodies that feel comfortable in the locations where projection mapping is orienting them, such as college students in their college town, but also, as Sarah Hamed works, suggests the hard work involved in orienting, orienting bodies to arrive in escape where they, where they are not already at home. Creating climate advocacy such as projection mapping can amplify and complement more pragmatic, scientific and policy oriented discourses by orienting transnational attention, transforming location into public spaces for political engagements and foresting collective imaginaries. This will not be a naive a naive celebration, but a critical assessment. In a time when our climate emergency is underreported, distorted, dis distorted and defeated, we should encourage an ethic of an ethic of care that deepen that depends our appreciation for our collective interdependence and our capacity of map new spaces for resi resistance. Acknowledgements. I thank Paul Natsold for introducing me to projection mapping and Ted Stripspas and Salma Monani for feedback on earlier drafts.